Today, we pause for a moment in Black history. Kaylin Raquel Robinson presenting Vice President Camilla Harris. Vice President Kamala DeVai Harris was born October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. Born the daughter of immigrant parents, her father, who was of Jamaican descent and was a professor at Stanford University. Her mother, who was born the daughter of an Indian diplomat, and she was a cancer researcher. Kamala got a first-hand and stroller-eyed view of the civil rights movement as she attended marches with her mother. This sparked an interest in her and inspired her to make it her life's work to fight against injustice. Vice President Harris noted in her autobiography, My mother understood very well that she was raising two black daughters. She knew that her adopted homeland would see Maya and me as black girls, and she was determined to make sure we would grow into confident, proud black women. After high school, Kamala matriculated to Howard University, a HBCU in Washington, D.C. There, she became a member of the illustrious Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and Economics, she received her law degree from the University of California Hastings College of Law in San Francisco and began her career in the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. In 2003, Harris was elected as the District Attorney of the City and County of San Francisco. As a lawyer, Harris immediately began breaking glass ceilings. In 2010, Harris was elected as the first African American and the first woman to serve as a California Attorney General. In 2016, she was elected as a Senator for California becoming only the second African-American woman to ever be elected to the Senate in U.S. history. In 2019, Harris launched her campaign for President of the United States. And, you know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. While she did not win the Democratic Party primary, she was selected as the running mate for President-elect Joseph R. Biden. On the evening of November 7, 2020, she made history not once but twice by becoming not only the first woman to hold the office of Vice President of the United States of America, but the first African-American woman to hold this office. My name is Kaylin Robinson, and I'm an eighth grader at Landmark Christian School, and this has been a moment in black history.